All right, guys, welcome back to Frosted Tech. So today's video is going to be rather interesting because I haven't done one of these in a little while. I used to do it with MSI Afterburner, if you guys remember watching that video. Uh, by the way, guys, YouTube is kind of broken right now. So go ahead, go, go down, click that subscribe button. Also click the bell notification right next to that. So every time I upload a video, you guys will know about it. And I know you've heard other YouTubers say that because YouTube is actually broken. So um, go ahead and go down there and do that while we do this. Uh, so basically I'm going to show you guys how to overclock a graphics card. Uh, specifically the ones that I have are GTX 980 Ti. So this is going to be for the Nvidia side of the spectrum, but with NZXT cam software, you can use MSI Afterburner. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, this is just much more refined. I like using this. So, uh, you can use this for AMD, Nvidia. I'm just using, I'm just letting you guys know that I'm using Nvidia cards. I have two 980 Ti's in the 980 Ti's in the build and an i7-6700K overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. So we're going to go into the build here and basically when you come into the cam dashboard, uh, you're going to see CPU, GPU. I have it set on advanced. Uh, you can have it set on basic as well if you'd like. Uh, but if you go to advanced, you have all of everything that you need to look at here. RAM, hard drive, network. CPU, GPU, motherboard, pretty much everything that you need to know. Temperatures, fan speeds, everything you need to know. So what you want to do is you want to go over to tuning. And now if I go to lighting, this is my NZXT Hue that is in the computer right now. So if I wanted to adjust my lighting and everything, edit settings, I can definitely do that. But that will be in a different video for you guys. If you guys want to see how to adjust NZXT Hue Plus lighting, uh, leave, let me know in the comments down below. But today's video is about overclocking graphics cards. So I am happy with the overclock that I have right here on the 980 Ti's. Um, now, just keep in mind, it's gonna overclock both cards. So as you can see down here, we're sitting at 100 plus 135 uh, roughly megahertz on the graphics card one, and graphics card two is sitting at 135. Memory clock is plus 405, memory clock plus 405. GPU temp is at idle. I think the fans are kicked up a little bit right now because I'm doing an update in the background. Um, so your voltage, we're at zero volts. So it's not really any pushing any volts or anything right now. So actually, I lied. These are the current clocks on the graphics cards right now. So if I were to come over here and just go crazy with the mouse and circling everything, you guys can see that the core clocks are going to jump up especially on GPU-2. So GPU-2, these are just basically the fan profiles and stuff like that. So GPU-2 is going to jump up in temperature. GPU-1 is not going to be affected because it doesn't really have to work to do this random fast stuff. So, um, so it jumped up to 1190. So that's not even my boost overclock. It just jumped up to the base overclock, basically. So what you can do is you can increase your power limit if you would like. So you can go plus 10%, all the way up to plus 10%. You can go, I like to run it at zero. Whoops, not 10, zero. So I like to run it at zero. Um, you can run, now I have run them higher than this. I have run this at uh, 55, whoops. I have run this at 55 before and I have run this at 95 so I mean it is stable running at that but I get a little bit of artifacting when I'm playing some pretty GPU intensive games like uh, Skyrim with uh, 100 mods on you know so it's it gets pretty intense so we're not we I decided to back down a little bit just to lock you know keep the life of my cards going longer so I've never really ran a higher overclock I've only done it for testing purposes which really isn't gonna hurt your graphics cards unless you do it all the time for extended periods of time hours on end day day by day you know then it's gonna start to cause damage to your graphics cards so I'm gonna clock these back down to what did I have this one at 55 roughly I'm not even sure so let's go ahead and run that so I'm gonna go ahead and save changes now you can upgrade your fan profile. So I have my fans at 50% speed at 50 degrees Celsius. And then it jumps up to 95% at 60 degrees Celsius and 100% and on past that. So that seems to work pretty well for me. My fans are pretty much running idle all the time because they never get over like 40 or 50 degrees on the, on the GPUs. So I really don't ever have to worry about it. 
Um, so as you guys can see, the core clock is currently running at 135 megahertz because I'm not really doing any load on it. Uh, GPU 2, obviously, because it's on the bottom, it doesn't get as much, actually it's on the top, uh, it doesn't get as much airflow, so it's always going to run a degree or two higher. Uh, that's just always how it is. Uh, and then memory clock is running 405 megahertz on both cards. So as you can see, both cards are identical right now. So that's pretty much it for GPU overclocking. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Steam and you're going to want to download the 3D Mark demo. Uh, and you're going to want to run through your, yes, you're going to have to watch the intro for it every time. Uh, but you're going to want to run it through its paces on that and uh, see how your computer performs. If you're, if it crashes out of it, you know, you might have to restart your computer. Um, then you know you, you have to decrease your clocks a little bit right here and right here. Maybe, you know, power limit doesn't really matter. Uh, but core clock and you're going to have to just kind of go high, start high, and then just kind of work your way down on the core clock and the memory clock. Just kind of work your way down so that you know what to do, you know, you know what not to go over, basically. So anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, I'm pretty happy with the settings that I have right here. So, I mean, I don't really have any issues with it, but uh, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if you like these types of videos, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.